Divergent boundaries are one of three main boundary types in the theory of plate tectonics. The three boundary types are divergent boundaries, convergent boundaries, and transform boundaries. Divergent boundaries are characterized by the splitting or spreading of plate boundaries. Divergent boundaries are also known as constructive boundaries because they build new crusts. Each plate boundary is characterized by features that can be observed on or near the Earth's surface. These features are a volcanic activity, seismic activity, geochronology, bathymetry, and topography. Let's look at how each of these features are represented on a divergent boundary. Most divergent boundaries exist in the oceans, and they're characterized by very few volcanoes. They also have seismic activity that are shallow and follow the plate boundary line. One of the distinguishing features of a divergent boundary is that they have new crust. Again, this is why they are called a constructive plate boundary, because they're always creating new crust. And the newest crust on the Earth always exists at divergent boundaries. Since divergent boundaries usually happen in the bottom of the ocean, they have no topography, which is the height of the land but they do have specific features in their bathymetry, which is the depths of the ocean. Divergent boundaries have raised ridges along the plate boundary. This is the result of new crusts being formed in these areas. In this profile of a divergent boundary, we can see these ridges. One of the most famous divergent boundaries is known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This divergent boundary stretches north and south through the Atlantic Ocean and spreads an average of 2.5 centimeters per year. This divergent boundary also represents the longest mountain range on the Earth and has a rift along its entire length. The effects of this divergent boundary can best be seen on the island of Iceland since the divergent boundary crosses through the middle of it. As the divergent boundary continues to spread or to split, the island of Iceland is basically being ripped in half and this can be seen by a number of features on the island surface. Again, divergent boundaries are caused as plates separate from each other, and they have the unique characteristics that have been described. 